AI art promised the world artistic utopia and then gave us nothing but dystopia. How did this technology fail so bad at its mission? Welcome back to the Art Mentor, my name is Sean and we need to talk about how AI art killed its own hype, produced horrific side effects and failed at its mission to democratize art because it did this. So the first victim of AI art has most definitely been social media because apparently the democratization of art has led to this massive flood of just completely uncurated images. It's so bad and everybody is so sick of it. You cannot go through any art platform at all without just being flooded and bombarded with all of these AI produced images. It is so annoying and especially for art clients, they hate it. They can't stand it either. Does this look like your experience lately? AI, AI, wait a minute, it's AI. Hey, what's that? Oh, that one's kind of cool. It's AI, come on. Now, huge supporters of AI are definitely gonna say that it's virtually indistinguishable, but it really is not, and it's never gonna change either because within five seconds, you can usually pick up on machines because they always leave clues, haven't you noticed? I think definitely the worst part of AI has been their new toxic zealot defense force called the AI art bros. I think they've actually become integrated into their technology because they seem to all have a giant hive mindset and they all have the exact same responses to artists all the time. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I went on over to mid journey and I quickly went ahead, put in some prompts and generated the AI art bro script. Let's read a few highlights from this. Shall we copium adapt or die? Analogies with horses and cars. Artists are gatekeepers. That's right, because you're on YouTube and you couldn't learn how to do art. AI will be indistinguishable from real art. AI learns like artists and how they copy. It's just like Photoshop or photography. We're gonna talk about that one soon. Now everyone can be art directors. Art will be just a hobby or AI. Picasso quotes. These insulting, degrading, and horribly fallacious comments are all part of the standard AI art bro script. It's like when you sign up for Mid Journey, you get this thing emailed to you because they can't produce anything original artistically, nor can they produce any original responses because they live in a little AI bubble where they are just psycho zealots and overly protective defenders of their precious technology. It's just not right, and it's a bad look, AI community. You gotta get on them for that. A critical flaw in the AI rhetoric is the misperception that art is a product. And yes, if you go into commercial spaces, art does become a product. However, it cannot be simplified down to just an end result. This is essentially the effects of the technology industry on dehumanization efforts making us feel that things that we genuinely enjoy and are necessary as human beings to experience are less valuable than they really are. And art is definitely one of those things. If you only view art reductively as it is an end product, you are missing 90% of what makes art amazing and makes people want to buy it. And especially what makes them want to pay ridiculously awesome sums of money from it. But artists, we know what's up, don't we? Part of that standard script of AI bros is adapt or die, adapt or get left behind. You're gonna get left behind in the dust. Y'all, please, I wanna question this. Adapt to whom, to what, for what purpose? And artists, you don't have to do this. I don't appreciate, nor do I think it is necessary for this push to happen where you have to use AI because it's just overhype and fear mongering. And what you're trying to do is just push people to do something that they are not comfortable with. It's not necessary whatsoever. And here's why I wanna make that stance because AI is meant to emulate pros. Supposedly, it's supposed to close your skill gap between what you can do now and what the AI is capable of doing, which by the way is a very predatory stance and it's a delusional stance on what you actually can do. So my friend, how about this instead? Why don't you just focus on being a pro? So why wouldn't you just want to experience your own creativity to cultivate that skill set that is unique, original, and authentic to you? Instead, just be a pro. Don't emulate over innovate a big question I want to ask you is this why are we allowing business and technology to dictate and create the norms for morality and furthermore where's the line and who really benefits 
because if you really take a look at technology and business through the ages and how they've made advances at the cost of other people, I just wanna ask you this, is it worth it? So let's talk about other things that business and technology have used over time that benefited them at the expense of everybody else. Let's talk about child labor. Let's talk about child soldiers. Let's talk about the active subjugation and disenfranchisement of people of different races and different genders. All of those things benefited business. So does that mean that they should be okay, that they should be acceptable, that we should just go back in time like 200 years because that was good for business and technology, wasn't it? If you really take a look at what AI is, it is solely a tool of a Depression is a tool of propaganda and it is not something that I think any of us should be okay with. If it is something that were more ethical, then we would have a much lower degree of resistance. But if it's also ethically sourced, it would still be trash and we all know it. One of the most powerful arguments that AI users make is that AI is just a tool. The way that AI works is that it's literally an artistic parasite. It needs hosts to draw from in order to feed itself in order for it to grow. This is vastly different from how a tool works. Curiously, AI users will also assert that it's just like Photoshop because Photoshop has some AI technologies into it. There's a difference between AI technology and AI technology that does all of the work for you and needs to utilize everything prior to it in order to make it something. So the only thing that it is a tool for indeed, it is a tool for oppressing your own creativity, it is a tool for knowing, it is a tool for denying any real knowledge. And you also have to admit as an AI user that you don't have control over how that works. You can't do that the same way that an artist manually has agency over every single decision-making process, yes, even in Photoshop. Part of the typical AI rhetoric is that AI allows you to release your creativity. But I just wanna reject that on the basis of authorities on art, on education, on how humans learn that that is actually not how it works, friend. When you really take a look at what you're doing is you're outsourcing your ideas and they're not your ideas. It's your idea, you're inputting and you're getting someone else's idea back and then you're claiming that idea as your own. Always thrown into this mix is that AI learns like artists do. No, bro, that's absolutely not true. You will not find a single credible source outside of the AI bubble that's gonna support that ridiculous, ludicrous theory because humans learn through experiences. AI does not. AI and the way that it works and what it outputs is essentially just now regurgitated ideas. It can only go as far as what it's trained on and it cannot actually produce anything beyond that. Once it does, that's when things start to get weird. Haven't you noticed? So is that really your creativity? Well, research would say otherwise. A major philosophical question about AI is this. Do you own what you are producing through AI? Do you really own that? Because the US copyright law definitely says otherwise there. I question that and I also question this, could you produce it as well without the assistance of AI? And here's what I just wanna ask you. From an ethical standpoint, do you feel that it is right of you to go ahead and put out that, even if you start with it as a base and claim it as that's my own original thought. Because if you can't, then that's what's called artistic plagiarism. Let me give you this fantastic example. So a lot of YouTube artists, just like myself, we do paint over. So I have people from my community that submit their artwork to me, and then I make videos about how to improve it from there, okay? Would it be right of me to take that image that I painted over and then put it out on my social media and say, that is my original artwork because I'm the one that owns everything that happened in there? I personally, I can't say that. I would not feel right, I would not feel good. And at the end of the day, like that is something that you have to really wrestle and argue with is, what is the basis for your morality and of your ethics in terms of your artistry? Do you really own it? It's a good question, isn't it? My major concern, and it should be your concern too, whether or not you are just getting into art, if you're learning your art, or if you're a professional that's thinking about using AI, is this pivotal question. Is AI a learning device or is it a crutch? Now, do you have to learn how to do something in order to produce better quality generated images? Yes, you do. But friend, let's not get this muddled here. There's a vast difference between training and education. And education is far deeper than simple job training. When you really get down to what the value of it is, is that only generating images 
and then slapping the art label on it, it's very limiting because you're limiting your potential based on what technology is able to output versus yourself. And humans have always proven ourselves to have infinite potential, haven't we? So what does this overall produce? It produces a simulated effect of what learning and what education is and overall what artistry skills you think you do or you don't have because from an educational perspective it is a much more reductive and training effort than it is now let's say that you are an artist and you do want to do this plus maybe you also want to learn a little bit of ai hang in there y'all because i got some really powerful advice coming up for you you might have noticed that this sensationalism over the new technology of ai has made people think that all artists are going to go extinct that pretty soon that there will always be just completely indistinguishable visions of what an artist can do versus a, an ai machine and y'all i just don't understand why you think that okay these are coming from the same people by the way that like 70 years ago promised that we'd all be driving flying cars and using hoverboards and if you really get down to it y'all machines don't think like human beings so why do you think that AI is going to surpass humans when inevitably it is always proven that machines make mistakes and they leave clues that they were not made by a human being? Even the best AI generated images can be picked out. It's not that hard to figure it out. And the only people that don't know are the ones that are ignorant of what it is and what it looks like, which if everything progresses the way the AI bros wanted to, everyone's going to know. And then guess what's going to be completely invaluable? AI generated images. You know, what will be valuable stuff that we make. So which version of reality do y'all want to live in? Do y'all want to believe in? Because the reality I want to believe in definitely is that human beings still run the world because that is a world worth living in, not the dystopian future of Terminator. All right, all right. Now, if you're an artist right now who's considering, you know, maybe you're toe dipping into AI and you're trying generated stuff. Now, this might sound surprising coming from me, especially, but if you want to leverage AI in order to produce your own authentic learning results, here are a few suggestions for you. So first off, let's talk about reference collections, because yeah, there's a lot of ways that you could leverage it for a reference. Now, I don't mean a reference. In other words, that you're just going to go ahead and slap that into your canvas and then paint over it. That's not a reference. However, though, that just makes me wonder this. Would you like to hear from me where to get professional level references for free or next to nothing? Because I would be more than happy to make that video. Drop that down below if you'd like to see that. I know a lot of artists will go ahead and they'll put their drawing, their sketch into an AI generator and then use it to upscale it to what they would like it to look like. Well, look, what if you did that and then what if you made it from scratch what if you took that sketch and now that you've got the reference of what it could look like then you could actually use it you could leverage it to actually increase your skills to learn to draw and paint like that however though from an educational perspective i don't agree ethically with that instead of just laying claim to what an ai generator spits out as your idea what you could do is this you could generate some ideas with ai and then use those and then make a bunch more so hypothetically let's say that you generated five really good ideas for your own concept art of your own original creation and then you use that to produce 15 more by learning what is what you deem to be a good shape language, a good form language, good aesthetics in any design, then you can use that to propel your idea. Now, regardless of how you want to utilize or not utilize it, here's the main takeaway that I like to impart to you, friend. Your own original creativity is going to always supersede what a machine thinks that you like because machines can only operate based on imitating what it has been fed and what it algorithmically thinks is going to be the best possible result versus what you do. And what you think and what you're capable of are always going to be at levels way above whatever any machine thinks is going to be best for you. Y'all, are you also sick of this artist hating propaganda that's been pushed by the AI industry and they're sick of fans? AI art bro community. Well, so am I. And that's why I made an entire video about it so that you can be in the know and it'll reject everything that these people have said. And you can find it right here.